Hey there everyone and welcome to the series on Flutter. My name is Atesh and let's walk into the world of Flutter. Now I know some of you are already aware what Flutter is and some of you are not and not even familiar with what programming language does Flutter use. Now you don't need to worry anything about that. I will walk you through with each and everything that Flutter has to offer. Not exactly like each and everything but to my best uh, what I can provide. So let's move forward and first and foremost, let's talk about what Flutter is. I know many of you are already aware of it, but for those people who are not aware of this, let's first read from the Flutter's official website. And it says, uh, Flutter is Google's mobile app SDK for crafting high quality native interface on iOS and Android in record time. Now, this definition is obviously 100% correct because it's coming up directly from Google, but it's a little bit of the jargon. So I have actually edited that into a little bit better manner and I call it as create iOS and Android native app with one code base or single code base. So yes, the news is actually correct. Now you can create native app. Now I'm not talking about hybrid apps or the web view wrapper apps. These are actual native app, just like you build from Java or from Swift. So you can create those things with a single code base and this thing is a uh, very high in popularity right now because companies do have to hire uh, half of the programmers as they are uh, recruiting right now and still you can provide each and every functionality in both app at the same time. So yes, this sounds very exciting and you must be thinking, wow, this is the opportunity. This is the thing I was looking up from the very start. But it's not like it is the first time that Google has approached it and Google is not the first one of, uh, for doing it. It's already in the market because it's a very good business decision and business thing uh, for most of the companies that they have some kind of framework in which we can write the code at just once and can export that as an iOS and Android app and can serve the user at the same time. Half the time in the production, half of the engineers, but yet we can serve more people. So yes, I know you're very excited with that. And before you get like more excited that yes, this is the thing I want to do, I want to clear up a couple of things. And in fact, these are the question that pops up around all over the internet quite a lot. So first we're gonna take down this, uh, these six questions, and then uh, probably we'll discuss a little bit more. So first big question is, what is the tech stack? Uh, the Flutter actually uses variety of things as their tech stack, but uh, the main important thing that we should know is Dart. Now Dart is a programming language and it's not really tough. It's one of the easiest one if you have coded any time either in Java, JavaScript or maybe Python, Swift, any other programming language as well. You definitely can uh, just breeze through its entire syntax. It's super easy. And yes, of course, your programming experience always helps no matter what programming language you have coded in the past. So the main thing that we are we should be aware of is Dart, which we also are going to cover up. So. And the next big question that is, is Java Swift over now? Now this is the question which comes up really a lot. People just say, hey, now the new technology is in the market, so that means the previous ones are gone. No, it's never like that. Uh, yes, sometimes it happens like uh, Objective-C is almost on the edge of just vanishing and Swift is taking over, but this time it's not like that. This time it means we have now more opportunities and more options to finish up our projects. Programming languages are just tools to finish up any project. And now we have one more tool in our belt. We can design the same project in Java, in Kotlin, uh, in React Native, in Flutter, maybe Capacitor, or any other thing as well. So it's not like something is over. It's just we now have more opportunities to work on with. So again, just to clear up, more opportunities, nothing and no one is going anywhere. The third question is, does Flutter helps in business requirement? Yes, it does. But a lot of companies are still not able to find a programmers on Dart as the Dart claims that they are, uh, the Flutter entirely claims that they are very fast in their compile time and hot reloading and stuff. Uh, but yet uh, there are not much of the businesses. Uh, business do really want to shift on something which has single code base. But right now there are not many programmers who are around in the world simply because the Flutter is a very new project. It just uh, is cracking up the egg right now and is just getting out in the market. So yes, it does serve a requirement. But right now most of the people are on React Native and that's actually the truth. But I think in the future it can grow up quite a lot, quite big, but I could be wrong. And again, so the next big question related to this one is what if Google shuts down its project? 
Now, this is not anything new that we haven't seen in the past. Uh, we were having a lot of such things which just got closed down. Cloud9 is one of the example. They are not completely closed, but they are now putting credit card uh, requirements. Uh, we do had a competitor of Firebase as well in the past, but now it's almost gone and kind of open source. So yes, these things do happen. Sometimes Google shut down, uh, have shut down the previous projects as well. They can also do, for, do it for this one as well. There's nobody who's stopping them. And this is actually the true fact about technology that it just comes and goes sometimes, sometimes get updated, sometimes get stay. So my advice is don't worry too much about it. Just keep on learning because the stuff that you learn in programming, it's about problem solving habits and they will be always super helpful. So don't just focus too much. I don't think much that what if technology goes away? You can even think that, hey, what if the internet just goes away suddenly uh, like, like a snap of something? So don't think too much about it. Just focus on learning because it sharpens your brain and it gives you more ability to think and all these things. So don't worry about if Google shuts down or not. Right now what we have, just focus on that. And as a lot of authors and amazing great books have said, just worry about today, not the future, not the past. And now one big question, the fifth one is, what about Flutter versus PhoneGap? I would say compared to PhoneGap, Flutter is very dominating because PhoneGap uh, produces the apps which are laggy and not that much amazing interfaces. Compared to that, Flutter is very high and they produce since the native apps. Uh, that's why they are very high. And I would all recommend to all those people who are working in such hybrid apps, you should jump into something Flutter or similar to that. Okay. Now the last question, the sixth one is Flutter versus React Native. Now React Native is a project being designed by Facebook. And let's be honest here that React Native is already at it's the peak of the popularity because it was the first one to came out in the market. And on the Flutter website, they have mentioned it as well. I don't know if they mention it still or not, but they have said that a lot of things in the Flutter also are inspired from React Native. And this is true, and this is totally true. So a lot of businesses are still using React Native because it also does the same thing, single code base for Android and iOS projects. But yes, with over time, Flutter is also gaining its popularity. One more contender is in the house is Xamarin as well. Uh, they also do almost the same thing. Uh, so yes, there are many other things, just like we have many editors to write the code. All of them have their pros and cons, and we are not here much to discuss about them. Just wanted to touch this subject that yes, right now in the popularity, React Native is at, at its peak. A lot of full-scale projects are now using React Native, and it's also justifying them. But right now, Flutter is the new thing in the market, and that's why we are having a series on Flutter as well. So now that you are completely clear about the FAQs of Flutter, in the next video, we are going to talk about what are the things, system requirement, installation on Windows, installation on Mac, and more resources about installation. And then after we can talk about Dart and the Flutter related things. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. In case you have enjoyed this video, please uh, do hit that like button in case you are not on my YouTube as well. What are you waiting for? You should join up my YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.